What is up, everybody? It's According to Seth. It is Friday, and I wanted to start a new segment here. And we're going to call that segment According to Seth's Movie News of the Week, where we basically, every Friday, are going to go over all of the breaking news for movies and TV shows that dropped. Maybe you missed some of it, maybe you didn't, but here, I am here to tell you all of it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. In what can only be described as a massive W for horror fans, we got Jason Blum's Blumhouse and freaking James Wan's Atomic Monster. Both of their producing horror companies are merging, and we're gonna get one giant producer of horror. And honestly, this is massive. The, like, horror has taken off just astronomically in the last few years, and it's produced some of the most incredible films and the fact that these two geniuses are getting in a room together the possibilities are endless guys just two absolute geniuses james wan and jason bloom next up in the long saga of sony's uh questionable decisions for their spider-verse we have a spider-man spin-off series silk coming to amazon exclusively i think it's a w because amazon just puts out fire but it is Sony, and we've seen what they've done with the Spider-Verse so far. In other great horror news, the former head of DC, Walter Hamada, is going to Paramount. And we all know Paramount's been also crushing it with their f horror films recently. We got Smile, um, Significant Others. There's just been a lot of great films, and it seems that all the studios are doubling down on horror, and I'm absolutely here for it. The legend himself, Quentin Tino, is making a comeback, but it's not in movies, no. We are getting an eight-episode TV series, which is going to begin shooting next year, so I assume we'll probably get it late 2023, early 2024. But well, there's no details on what it's going to be about, but it's Quentin Tarantino, so you know it's going to be good. Next up, we got Eddie from Stranger Things, a.k.a. Joseph Quinn, and honestly, this is going to be renaissance here for this guy. He is on a roll and we just got some huge news. He's going to be joining Lupita Nyong'o on A Quiet Place Day 1. And I'm excited for this movie. I loved A Quiet Place Part 2. I'm not sure if this is a sequel or a prequel or whatever. But we're getting more Quiet Place and that's all that matters. And last but not least, we got some alien news. Fetty Alvarez is directing a new alien horror film going straight to uh, Hulu. And Kaylee Spanny is going to be starring as the main character. There isn't much known other than the fact that it's going to be taking place on an alien planet. It's going to be separate from the other films. The Xenomorphs, the original Xenomorphs, are going to make an appearance. It's going straight to Hulu. And Fetty Alvarez did um, the Evil Dead remake, which was fucking fantastic. Hulu's been crushing it with their films. We got Hellraiser, Prey, and some other ones that have been awesome. So this is in good hands. And stay tuned for next week's news. I hope you all enjoyed and I'm stoked for all of this.